Hello everyone and thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this lecture, we will talk about IDAX, EDI and LLE process. Now we will take a look at these terms. So IDOC or Intermediate Document is a document exchange format used by SAP to transmit and receive messages between two application systems. Using IDOC, you can send and receive structured messages for transactions with business partners, such as vendors and customers. The standard structure is understood by both the sending and receiving systems. Since the message has a specific structure, it can be processed automatically. In contrast, if transaction details are sent by mail or fax, the receiver has to read and enter the data manually in their system. Structured messages save you, for, save you from uh, this effort and also ensure consistency and speed. EDI or Electronic Data Interchange is the electronic exchange of business data between two partners. From an SD point of view, a common use of EDI is to exchange transactions about sales orders, deliveries and invoices with your customers. ALE or Application Link Enabling enables the linking together of different applications running on different systems. For example, if you have other SAP or non-SAP systems in the landscape, you can share customer master or material master data with all the system, with all the systems using ALE. Now we will take a look to the IDAC structure. An IDAC is structured into three parts. First part, control record. The control record contains administrative information about the IDAC. This includes information about the IDAC being sent, the sender, and the recipient. It can be compared to a cover letter that precedes and introduces the main correspondence. Next part is data record. There can be several data records structure, structured logically. They contain the transaction information such as sold to party, material, quantity, price, and so on. Third part, status record. The status records contain information about the processing status of the IDAC along with the timestamp. The status records get added over time based on the progress of the IDAC. For example, there will be a status record when the IDAC has been generated, when the IDAC is ready for dispatch, and when it has been processed successfully. In the case of any error, the message and code are displayed in the status record. To display an IDAC, go to SAP menu, go to Tools, ALE, LAE Administration, Monitoring, IDAC Display, and Display, Transaction Code, WE02, double click on it, and you see IDAC List Transaction, where you have your selection criteria and three tab, Default, Additional with additional information and EDI tab with some more additional fields. We will use default tab as an example for our selection criteria. We'll use created on field.
and press execute button. Now we see the list of selected IDACs. We can sort this uh, list in ascending order or we can sort it in descending order. We can find some key fields pressing on find button and by setting search term. We can use set filter to set filter in additional fields. Just select field like status grouping. and select filter. Double click on green, so without errors, and press execute. You can use print button, views, and you can export this list to a spreadsheet, word processing, local file, send office ABC analysis and HTML download. You see change layout, choose layout and self layout options here. So you can create your own variants. Just uh, hide some unnecessary columns by pressing the hide button. Then you can uh, save layout. Press on type test and description will be test. Click on user specific so this variant will be only for your user. And click on default value. So this variant will be always as a default value for your user. And press continue. Now we will take a closer look to IDAC number by pressing double click with the left button of the mouse. Now you see the detailed information for your IDAC. You have IDAC display section with IDAC number, council data, data records and status records. You see technical information with direction. Direction can be outbound or inbound. Current status, current status of the IDAC. Basis type extension, message type, partner number, partner type, and port. Let's look at some of the IDAC details. Technical short info contains some of the content information, among other details, it has the message type field. So, all necessary technical information stored here. Now, data segments. Within the data records, there are data segments. The data is stored within the segments. So, this is segments. For our IDAC. If we click on each segment, we see additional information for selected segments like field name and field value.
now you press back button and you can do the same with another iDoc so by pressing on iDoc number you can see additional information for this iDoc now go back to the main screen Now we'll talk about IDAC processing. IDACs are processed in the background with regular jobs. You can monitor and process an IDAC manually using IDAC processing transaction. Follow menu pass SCP menu to ALE LE Administration Monitoring IDAC Display and Status Monitor Transaction Code BD87 Double click on it Now you see here a selection screen with IDOC number, created on field, created at field, changed on field, change at, IDOC status, partner system, and some additional selection options for IDOC like message type, business object, or object key. We will change our selection criteria for changed on and after that press on execute button. Now you see here information about IDAC selection. So we see our selection criteria here. We set only one selection criteria, changed on. So we see here our selection criteria and range of dates which we choose in our selection screen. Next, we see our central system, our client. IDAX in outbound processing. We have two statuses error passing data to port and data passed to port without any warning message. So we have the we see here detailed error message. We can double click on it and we will see status monitor. We will see detailed screen with all IDAX number and all additional information with this error message. We see here additional buttons like Display IDAC. When we choose our IDAC and press Display IDAC, we will go back to the detailed information about this IDAC. Display related objects. We see the warning informational message that no directly linked objects exist for this IDAC number. Next button, display status long test.
So it's a detailed information about our warning message with the message number, diagnosis, and procedure for system administration. And last option is object key, which show keys of linked objects. Now go back. And here we see refresh IDAC display button. We can expand subtree by select a tree and press this button. We see bottom collapse subtree. Select tree and press collapse subtree. Display partner systems. So we see our partner system. Highlight message type. Next button, select IDAX. We can set a filter for our IDAX and set IDAX for display and processing. We can set here selection criteria and after that press execute. We have display IDAX button to display IDAX. We see trace IDAX, so we can trace the IDAX in partner system. And we see process selected node. We can process our messages using this button. Now we can go back to the SAP Easy Access menu. And very important uh, part of the IDAC EDI and LE processing is output determination. But we have talked in detail about output determination in one of our previous lectures. I showed you how output types are configured and how an output medium is assigned to them. After that, we talked about transmitting the outbound message via EDI. So now, you have all necessary information about IDAX, EDI, LLE processing. Thank you for watching a new video world videos.